Hi, this is Ryan with BetterTattooing.com, back out in the garage today. It's really cold out here, which is fantastic. We're answering today this question. It's another humdinger, folks. I don't know what's going on. Can you remove a tattoo with hydrogen peroxide? That's over. Can you remove a, a tattoo with hydrogen peroxide? <sighs> yes and no. That's kind of weird. So we, we can get into this. What's what's hydrogen peroxide? Hydrogen peroxide is something that people use to clean wounds, right? Peroxide. I can't multitask, so that's my problem. It's something that people use to like clean out wounds. You fall you can, on your bike, skateboard, whatever. You scrape, you get your knee, pour some peroxide on it. It creates bubbles and it's supposed to clean stuff out. So the chemical reaction you see when it hits your skin, hydrogen peroxide, is interesting. And this is the thing I think we're going to have to focus on when we think about it actually removing a tattoo. So what is a tattoo? A tattoo is pigment that has been injected into the top layer of the dermis. It's been held in place through an immunologic response or it's just kind of trapped between specific cells inside the skin. And it stays there permanently. So the idea I've seen a lot when I've like looked online trying to re research this and get some reference points, which is really funny, is that people think of the bubbling action inside of H2O2, right, is able to like get into a wound. If we say like here's the ink and stuff, you put this stuff in, it's supposed to bind with the pigment that's there, right, and lift it back out. That doesn't happen. <laughs> Hydrogen peroxide, when you put it into the skin, H2O2, the chemical signature of hydrogen peroxide, right, if we do two of these ones, which is going to be absolutely fantastic, is converted into H2O, right, which is fantastic, and O2, which is fantastic. We'll have two H2O like molecules plus O2. So you get water and oxygen. Can we use water or oxygen to remove a tattoo? No. But the byproducts of this stuff, when you actually use tattoo, um, peroxide in a tattoo, trying to remove it, if you're using needles to actually inject it into the skin, can actually create a space where you're not going to be as prone to get an infection, which is kind of cool. It also is not good for the skin because just like chemical reaction side there is going to create free radicals or scavengers, which is going to either damage or help depending on the situation of the tattoo wound that you're creating to either increase its ability to heal or not, which is weird. That all comes down to technique, which we don't have to get into in this video. But realistically, you inject H2O2 into the skin, you end up with water and oxygen, but people still claim that the tattoo is being removed. Why is that? It's pretty simple, actually. You don't need hydrogen peroxide to remove a tattoo. What we're doing is we're basically, let's break this down simple. We have our layers of skin here, right? We have our epidermis up here, our dermis here, and our subdermis here. That's the connective tissues, fatty layers, adipose, and something else, right? For a tattoo to work, we have to go past the epidermis, which is that like protective layer in the skin that's going to be shed and kind of projected, and we have to get down to the actual dermis, right? Two layers of the dermis. We want to try to get in the top layer. This is where it's going to sit permanently. Now, when you damage the skin to a point that's forced to remodel down to where the actual pigment is, let's say that we're using a testing machine with hydrogen peroxide, right? Let's put this back up here that's actually being injected into the skin. The H2O2 isn't doing anything except for creating water, right? And a bit of oxygen. But the damage to the skin is forcing the body to remodel. So if this stuff is all damaged, technically what's happening is you're opening the wound again and it's just like it's another fresh tattoo. When you tattoo, roughly, if you do like perfect technique, I mean, you can have high quantities of the pigment actually stay in the skin, but on average, the pigment that actually stays in is around 70%. The rest of it either gets ejected during the healing process or is absorbed into the body, just because. It's just how it works, right? So when you damage the skin due to needle of whatever, scraping, dermabrasion, whatever else the hell you're doing, that's going to get down towards the actual pigment layer in the skin, you're going to force the body to reheal, losing some of the pigment that's there, absorbing some of it again. So as you're doing this, it doesn't matter what you use. You can use H2O2, you can use H2O, or you can just use plain water. You can use sterile saline if you want to. And you can put that in the body and you can get the exact same effects as hydrogen peroxide. Is this a smart way to remove a tattoo? No. Unless you really know what you're doing, the constant trauma to the body where you're interacting with this pigment that's been implanted in the skin can create scarring. 
And if you don't do it right, if you do it too many times, if you really try to force this product into it, water or hydrogen peroxide, whatever the hell else you're using, and you're doing it more and more and more, you're more likely to get an infection, you're more likely to get scarring, and you're more likely to have this pigment get f pushed further down into the dermis where it's going to be much more difficult for it to get uh, it to be removed. Does that make sense? I hope so. Anyways, answering our question today, <laughs> stop watching the videos about this stuff. It's so stupid. Can you remove a tattoo with H2O2? Hydrogen peroxide? Yeah, you can, but like, just don't. Oh, one more thing. Applying hydrogen peroxide to the outside of your skin to bleach it does not affect the pigment that's underneath it. That's two different layers of skin. When you put hydrogen peroxide on to bleach it, you're dealing with the bottom layer of the epidermis where your melanin is. You're bleaching it out there. You're not touching the pigment that's underneath it. That's why this is a protective layer. Anyways, it's Ryan from BetterTattooing.com signing off. Thanks again.